Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video I will show you how to create an email based on your domain name and then how to connect that email or you can say webmail to your Gmail account so that you can directly send or, e send or receive email from that email uh, directly from your Gmail account, okay? So let's start this tutorial and make sure to watch this tutorial till the end and do not skip any part of it. We are going to do each and everything from scratch. Now you can see I am already logged into my hosting account and I have connected my domain to this account so that we can easily create or we can set up email for that particular domain. So once you have connected your domain and you are logged into your hosting account on the left hand side you will find out this tab email click on that. On this page Hostinger will list all the domains connected to your hosting account. This Hostinger account and you can set up email for any of these domains. For this video, we are going to use this domain rhojo.com. After this domain on the right hand side, you will be able to see mailboxes. Click on that. On this page, Hostinger should display all the emails related to that particular relevant domain which you have selected. And you can see we do not have any email right now for this domain. We have to click on this, create a mailbox to create a new email account. So I will click on this, create a mailbox. On this page, create your mailbox. This is the first option. Here you have to enter the prefix for that email account. Like if you want to create admin at the rate rhojo.com. So enter admin only. If you want to set up inquiry, then inquiry at the rate rhojo.com like this for now that admin on the very next step you have to enter the password you can enter manually password or you can click on these dot on the right hand side generate password to automatically generate password for this from this icon this icon if you will click on this you will be able to see your password so you have to remember this password to set up your this email account in Gmail. Let's enter once again so that I can easily remember this. But I have entered like this. Okay. On the next step, you have to click create and your email will be created. Okay. So if I go back here, click on emails, and at this time, after rhojo.com, I click on mailboxes. You can see we have this email listed here. Okay. So this is all you have to do. Now coming back to home, click on emails. And after rhojo.com, if I click on mailboxes, I will be able to see these options on the left hand side, these new options. I have to click here, connect apps and devices. Click on that. And you will be able to see these settings here. Your email client using email server, these settings, incoming mail server, outgoing mail server, like this, okay? POP mail server. Now we are finished from here. If I will go back to my Gmail account, here we have to click on setting icons. That's on the top right corner. This cog icon, click on that. Click on see all settings. On this page, on this menu, you have to click Accounts and Import. Click on that. On this page, you will find out these two options. Send mail as and check mail from other accounts. This option, check mail from other account, is for receiving emails from that uh, webmail account. We will use this option. We will set up this option. And for sending email from that account inside Gmail, we will set up this option, send mail as. So let's start from this option, send mail as. On the right hand side, you can see we have this option, add another email address, click on that. Now you can enter any name you, uh, you want, like let's say admin or uh, put pro. On the very next step, you have to enter the email address that 
you created now we do not want this as an allies so we will uncheck this we will click on next step here we have to enter SMTP server settings and username and password. Username should be your complete email address like this and here you have to enter the password which you generated for this email account and SMTP server if you will go back you can see outgoing email server click on that and this is a port 465 let's go back and 465 and like this click on add account this should be ssl click on that i don't want to and as you can see email has been sent to this for confirmation for now we will close this and let's set up another option as well and later on we will verify this you can see it's uh, showing here unverified for now but we will verify this later on click on this option check mail from other accounts once again enter complete email address then click on next import emails from my other account pop3 if uh, I will click on next this time username you can enter your full like this email address enter password which you generated now this time we have to use this pop server let's go back and you can see we have incoming server here we will copy this by clicking on this icon and 995 is the port so select the port and like this now we have these options like if you want to leave a copy of retrieved message on the server you can select this i will choose this option and label also this also click on add account okay so we are finished here if i go back to this option you can see we have connected this if i go back to mailboxes on this page if you somehow skip this go back to home go to emails and for your domain you can this time click on mailboxes or you can also click on manage once you will click on manage you will see mailboxes here click on hosting your email enter the password to log into your email account click on login and you can see inside junk if i click on this we have this confirmation email from gmail and if link i have to click on confirm so this is confirmed now if i go back to these settings on gmail you can see we have this uh, confirmation set up here if i go back to compose this time prompt you can see from drop down we have this option and let's send it to this email only just to check if we have okay last email and email are good and if I click here, you can see we have already received this email and this is from this account. Okay, now let's uh, 
we have this Gmail account selected here. We are going to send an email from this to admin rate dot com and test just incoming emails. So this way you can easily set up your webmail, your Hotchinger webmail inside Gmail and you can see it's thanked and We have this label here, labels on the left hand side. It will take some time to receive email and it can also be inside spam like this. Okay. So we have received this email. This way you can easily set up your hosting or web mail into Gmail. You can merge both these emails and you can utilize Gmail to send or receive email from your webmail account. So thank you for watching my video and I will see you next video. If you have any query about this setup, you can comment me and I will reply for the same. So thank you for watching once again. See you next video.